Hey guys, Janine here, and in today's video, we are going to be learning how to determine the gradient of a function in three dimensions. So we have this formula here. The gradient of f is equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to x, the partial derivative of f with respect to y, and the partial derivative of f with respect to z. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example and apply this. So in this example here, we have f of x, y, z is equal to 3x squared y plus z e to the x. So let's go ahead and start out by taking our partial derivative. So first, let's go ahead and take the partial derivative of f with respect to x. And so in this case here, we are taking the derivative with respect to x, and we're holding y and z constant. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first term here. So here we have this 3, which is a constant, and we also have y, which is also a constant in this case. So we're just taking the derivative of this x squared term. So we end up with 6xy. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this term here. So we have z e to the x. So in this case here, this z is just a constant. And here we're just taking the derivative of e to the x. So we have z e to the x. And now let's go ahead and move on and take the partial derivative of f with respect to y. And so in this case here, we're taking the partial derivative of f with respect to y and holding x and z constant. So in this case here, this is just a constant, and we're just taking the derivative of this y here. So we have 3x squared times 1 plus 0, because we don't have any y's in this term here. So this is all just a constant. So this ends up being 3x squared. And now let's go ahead and take the partial derivative of f with respect to z. In this first term here, we don't have any z, so that means that this is just a constant term. And so if we take the derivative of a constant, we just get 0. And then in this next term here, this e to the x is a constant, and so we're just taking the derivative of this z term. So the derivative of z, in this case, is just 1. And then we're going to multiply by the constant term e to the x. So we have e to the x for the partial derivative of f with respect to z. So now we can go ahead and put together our vector. So we have the gradient of f is equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to x, which is just this right here. So we have 6xy plus ze to the x. And then we have the partial derivative of f with respect to y. So that is just equal to 3x squared. And then lastly, we have the partial derivative of f with respect to z, and that's just equal to e to the x. And so that is our final answer. That is how you find the gradient of a function in three dimensions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.